So I thought I'd do a shrimp update. Um, we'll go through all the shrimp tanks in my fish room and kind of take you through everything and let you know how things have been doing. Um, make sure to check out AquaticSupportSystems.com for all your shrimp food and products. We carry Shrimp King, MK Breed, Glass Garden, Salty Shrimp Remineralizers, all that kind of good stuff that you need for your shrimp tanks. Um, I'll be at Aquashella as well. I'll have a booth right across from the shrimp contest. Uh, the USA Shrimp Contest is going to be at Aquashella in Chicago. That's the weekend of September 28th. And I'll be there both days. Um, I'll have all sorts of products, including all the shrimp foods and stuff that you see on my website, plus some additional products like driftwood, um, chalia wood, uh, just different things like that, moss ledges, things uh, available that are good for planted tanks and shrimp tanks. So stop by, say hi, let me know if you watch my uh, YouTube videos. It'd be fun to meet you in person. and. Uh, and that type of thing. So Aquashella, make sure you stop by the Aquatic Support Systems booth. Let's get on with the tour. All right, well, we're gonna start over here on um, this rack of four. We're just gonna start with the uh, crystal red tank. As you can see, things are going real well in there. They're just going after some uh, morning breakfast and we've got all sizes, shapes, and colors in there. Or not colors, but patterns. Um, low grade uh, up to high grade and when I say low grade I'm talking about like A through S grade like this guy right here although with crystal reds a lot of times especially lately people are liking a little bit more red on there like these guys so whether you call that low grade whatever um, I've got uh, I've got several crystal reds in there these are available if you're looking to buy some shrimp for me just uh, Go to AquaticSupportSystems.com, go to the contact page and my email will be there, just email me. I don't have the shrimp listed on the website because it's too hard to keep uh, things going with uh, stock and in and out of availability, that type of thing. But yeah, those are the Crystal Reds. Uh, next door here are the Black Pintos. Um, I've said this for months and months and months, but I just don't get around to it. I need to get in there and do some calling. There are some Michelings in there. But there are some nice black pintos in there too with some different uh, patterns and stuff. We've got the spotted head and uh, some others. Um, so they're doing pretty good. Um, as you can see, this tank is in desperate need of a trim. And there are tons more shrimp back in there that are hiding. You can see a little baby right there cruising around. But uh, I need to uh, get that uh, trimmed up and uh, see some more shrimp then. Um, next door is the um, red tiger tank. Um, there's some fancy red tigers and then some that I would consider more just regular red tigers. I'm going to uh, get rid of the ones that are more regular red tigers and, uh, and uh, try to concentrate more on fancy reds in here. The fancy reds are a little bit lower grade but um, at any rate, I still enjoy this tank. Um, they have been breeding, which is a good sign. Um, you can see some babies down there. Try to focus in a little bit, but uh, it's always hard to do on these shrimp tanks. But yeah, looking good for what it is. Next door is the PRL tank, but I'm going to take you over to the side here where, um, where a lot of them are eating. These guys have been doing real good. I've been seeing a lot of babies lately. Um, really like the color and pattern on these. These by no means are top of the line PRL, but they are good, uh, in my opinion, um, a, good, uh, a good looking colony uh, for the most part. They're not going to win any awards or anything like that, but uh, I've enjoyed them and uh, they've continued to breed for me slowly, um, not nearly as much as my Crystal Reds, but they're doing good overall. So I'm going to continue to work with these and uh, see what happens. Again, this tank too is in desperate need of a trim, so we'll go ahead and get that taken care of here shortly, one of these days. 
Next door here is an overgrown tank. This is what happens when Mini Pelia gets really overgrown. It doesn't really look like Mini Pelia anymore. But uh, here are the Super Crystal Rats. Um, been having some, some babies in there, some, uh, some good results. Colonies growing slowly but surely. Again, there's probably quite a few more in here that we're not seeing because of the overgrowth of the tank. I've just had one of those summers where I haven't been able to keep up with, uh, with much other than water changes, so it is what it is. But yeah, these guys are doing well. Got some different um, grades, if you will, in here. Some with more stripes than others, some with barely any stripage, some with the Santa Claus cat white on the top of the head type of thing. And down below here is the mixed Taiwan B tank that is slowly but surely being overtaken by super low grade um, red bolts. You can see there's a lot of red bolts that are just kind of a pinkish color. The blue bolts in here are still doing good, although I kind of oversold. Um, some of them so I'm needing to repopulate but that's no problem you can see there's a bunch of babies of all types in here but this is the mixed Taiwan B tank not to be confused um, not to be confused with my um, I got a couple of specific blue ball tanks as well that I'll show you so a couple of new tanks over here that I haven't really shown. I think I might have mentioned them when um, when they were just cycling still, but kind of a mess right now is I got a bunch of this, uh, I never know how to pronounce it, but it's this uh, hooker lace moss, I believe it's called, that Eric Lucas sells. Um, I got a bunch of that from him. But I've got, as you can see, uh, a bunch of blue bolts in here. Recently purchased those from my buddy at Joe's Shrimp Shack. These are uh, Blue Crown Aquatic, Blue Bolts actually. Um, and uh, looking to kind of get a colony going in here as well as I'll have some of these available at uh, Aquashella as well if you're looking for Blue Bolts. Down here, um, I started a red Pinto tank. It's uh, got a lot of algae going from the cycle, but as you can see, there are a few um, red pintos, a um, couple of spotted heads right there that you can see. They're a little bit smaller. What I plan on doing is mixing my old pinto colony in with these guys and then also adding some more. And I'll show you why. Well, I've talked about it before. The other pinto colony depleted and there's a bunch of scuds in that tank, so I'm gonna have to rip that tank down and redo it, but at any rate. That's what's going on there. We'll go over here and uh, check out uh, these eight shrimp tanks. It's a little tight back here, but we'll get in there. Here's the Blue Dreams. Um, this colony is starting to rejuvenate itself. I had uh, kind of oversold a little bit and I uh, was getting worried that uh, this colony was uh, a little too depleted, but they've uh, they've been growing well. Different colors and, and patterns in there, but these are uh, blue dreams. Um, over here are some, uh, what were sold to me as a fire red colony. Er, the shrimp were sold to me as fire red, and this is the colony I've started. Um, I've got some uh, scud issues in this tank, which I'm going to take care of here shortly. Just haven't had the time. But the shrimp are still doing pretty good overall in this tank, and uh, we'll just continue to watch these and see what comes of them. You can see one that needs to be called right there. That's no bueno. Um, over here is what's left of the original Pinto colony. You can see a couple of nice ones in there. There's a couple more that aren't out in front right now. Um, I think 
There's five or six total in the tank. There's four in front of us. But uh, yeah, hoping to restart a red pinto colony here real soon. Got some scuds in this tank too, so I'm gonna tear down this entire tank, start over fresh. These are the golden slash white bees that I call them. It's a mixture of a few different types of uh, white or kind of yellowish golden colored shrimp that I have mixed together over, I don't know, the last couple of years, I guess. These guys are doing well. There's quite a few babies in here, um, just like some of the other tanks it's pretty overgrown so you're not seeing you know um, all of the shrimp out <laughs> big massive thing of uh, subwasser tank right there look at all the subwasser tank is just grown up the intake the tube or whatever on that dual sponge filter and another overgrown tank here but these uh, these this is a mixed high B tank Quite a few different things coming out of this. I've done nothing but just kind of let these let these guys alone and let them go. I gotta trim this tank down too so we can see really what's all in here. Um, but uh, there's uh, some Pegrophilia penetrata and then some uh, I forget what kind of moss that is. I think it's mini Christmas that's really started to overgrow. Overgrow. Anyway. Um, Crystal black tank down here doing real well. Tons of snails, bunch of fissidens, there's fissidens, a um, bunch of uh, subwasser tank in there. Got these available right now. If anybody needs crystal blacks, let me know. Same same drill as before. Go to my website, aquaticsupportsystems.com, and go to the contact section where you'll find my email. It's just brian at aquaticsupportsystems.com, and we can talk shrimp and then this is kind of a cherry slash bloody mary colony sold to me as bloody mary's but i can't really call them that as uh, you can see not all of them are looking like bloody mary's but it is what it is um, i'm gonna probably just throw these in my big 90 gallon and uh let them do their thing, and then I'm gonna redo this tank, probably to a Caradina tank. So that's really it for the rack back in the corner here. I'll take you upstairs, show you uh, the blue bolts, and then we'll, uh, we'll end the video. All right, so up in the office here, we are looking at uh, my other blue bolt tank. This is the blue bolt tank that I've had for quite some time, and if you remember in prior videos, I was having tons of trouble uh, getting this colony to breed and that, but you can see now that there's babies in here and we've had breeding and uh, we've had a few sets of babies actually. You can see some different size juvies and, and babies in there. So that's a good thing. Um, I'm hoping that this colony will continue to grow. There's some real nice color in there, some really deep blue. Um, I think uh, some of those would be considered what you call blue steels possibly. Not 100% sure, but yeah, looking uh, looking good with this tank. All right, well, thanks for watching the video. Again, make sure you check out AquaticSupportSystems.com for all your shrimp food and fish food needs. Make sure you stop by our booth at Aquashella uh, later this month. And until next time, thanks for watching.